Hey everybody and welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we got this week. But first, a word from our sponsors. Oh my god, I am so glad quarantine is relaxing, Joe. It has been so long since I've been able to eat out. Yeah, same. It's been forever since I've gone down oh, yeah. town for some food. Mm, god, I can't wait to just put it in my mouth. You ready? What the hell? Two fellatio roll specials. What the? What is it? What is this? What the hell is this? Uh, okay. Garnish. No! It that's way too much. It looks nasty like that. Wait, Joe, what do you do? No! Ew! Don't no! It's get that out of your mouth! <sighs> what is wrong with you? That's gross. Oh! I'm sorry, no one's been down here in a while, you know, the quarantine. Here, let me let me get this cleaned up. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Clean it, please. Oh, ugh. You can't put anything like that in your mouth unless it's, it's clean. That's disgusting. I agree. Here you guys go. All cleaned up. Ah, much better. I can actually get to eating now with all that garnish in the way. Yeah. Don't let an untamed bush ruin anyone's appetite. Try the Lawnmower 3.0 today. Remember, garnish is for decoration, not for getting in your mouth. Get 20% off at Manscaped plus free shipping at manscaped.com backslash Angry Joe Show. It's the perfect Father's Day gift. Check out all their deals now. Click the link and support our show. Ah, <laughs> does that look good? Well, I know you don't like sushi. I forgot. You know, he got it all in his mouth anyway. Uh. Shut your mouth. He shut your dirty mouth. <laughs> all right, listen, everybody. Don't let it, uh, don't let unwanted pubic hair ruin anybody's appetite or garnish. Sorry. Uh, just make sure that you clean up down there. It'll be better for you and for everybody else involved. Um, and Manscaped also now has the yeah. the weed whacker. whacker. You're saying it wrong. It's weed whacker. Weed whacker. Weed whacker for those uh, pesky nose and ear hairs. You know. You hear that? Yeah. That's power, yeah. baby. That's power. <laughs> yeah, so I actually need that. I mean, my ear hair is super long. I get it from my grandpa. You see it, Joe? It. You see it? No. You, see it? you see it though, right? <laughs> I, 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 it just we grows unnaturally <laughs> fast. So I actually. It's your need superpower. This. So <laughs> I'm glad there's a special tool for it. Yeah. Too, so. so it works great. I'm so. embarrassed. <laughs> but now you can touch it up, and nobody will even know. Yeah, I'll do it later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, jumping right into the news, uh, we talked a lot about Blizzard Activision and how sometimes they are giant pieces of shit. Mm -hmm. um, now, this is another time where it looks like someone there, not necessarily the people at the top, but someone at Blizzard has been a giant piece of shit. So Hearthstone Pro says he was blacklisted. You don't say. Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> so the Hearthstone <laughs> Pro says he was blacklisted and was not allowed to attend certain events uh, because Why? his wife had criticized Blizzard. Now, she was a, a Blizzard employee, got fired. She uh, said something mean. And then she tweeted about <laughs> it going like, these ass hats fired all of us. And then immediately re-listed many I of the jobs. And so she was very publicly uh, out against that. them saying like, how dare you? What is wrong with you? You're a record, record year. What is making this? more money than anything. What is this? What is this? Yes. We're, we're here. You can rehire. Yeah, you re rehire us. No, oh. it's like, no, no, no. We have to rehire someone who's willing to take less money. That's, yeah. Uh, so that's what they did. She was very out in front and just making sure it's like, like people know. It's like, look, they're being pieces of shit. Now, people took notice. And so they stopped inviting her husband to these big Hearthstone tournaments. And wow. eventually they came out and just said, look, this sucks. They blacklisted me just because of who my wife is. She's not like she was saying crazy things. She was saying like, tr true, really like true, <laughs> rational. Yeah, this is what and she wasn't even being like, nasty like she wasn't right. being in the point where she was like cursing people out or doing right. any of these things she was doing things the way that needed to be done yeah. now apparently it's just a big misunderstanding you don't understand every but every voice matters yeah. alex hey, except for he was but he wasn't he was disinvited they, re they removed the matters. they removed the every voice matters plate from the blizzard campus they they didn't, but they should. <laughs> they, <laughs> they should they? now. Yeah, should've. they, they should just like sure paint, like scratch should. that out. Yeah. So uh, apparently, cover it, up, cover it up with black tape. Anybody that works at Blizzard, seriously, cover it up with black tape. Oh well, no, we're not going to do that anymore, Joe, because they said they're sorry. But <laughs> if, they sorry, if they didn't, 
if those people didn't raise heck, if his wife didn't wasn't outspoken and saying, hey, why are you banning my husband? I, he didn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, you know, and just because I'm critical, don't don't ban him. Then we probably wouldn't even know about this. And yeah. not every voice would matter. Not every voice would matter. And even if he was critical, you are allowed to be critical of yeah. these companies and blacklisting someone <clears> because <throat> they share a, a different opinion what? Is, is super weird. Is happened to you? Never. Never, never happened. I've <laughs> never had a different opinion than the gaming industry yeah. Yeah. on a game. Ten uh, out of ten. So they're claiming... Even though my voice is... I might not talk very much oh, during this because yeah. I just filmed The Last of Us. It's two. pretty loud. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, lot of yelling. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cur- apparently, giant misunderstanding. Oh no! Community manager just didn't know, and you didn't sign this NDA that no one else had to sign. And and now that you did it, we're totally you're totally cool. Come on back because you publicly outed that we're giant pieces of shit. But we're not pieces of shit. It's just that guy. Just that. <laughs> just Jimmy. Jimmy's a piece of shit. Which is apparently the story that they're running with. Uh, it, it's all horrible. It makes them look yes. even worse. Now this is this is an ongoing thing. Where again, this isn't Bobby Kotick. This isn't mm-hmm. some. This is J. Allen Brack. It's not them making these decisions. We don't think it just looks like community managers are using the differences of opinion to just do things that uh, against the community or people who are outspoken. So they've Blizz- always done that. Yeah. Just to let you guys know, like we yeah. don't we don't get invited to events anymore because we've we've shit on some of their games, and some of their practices. <laughs> you guys don't have phones. Show sure, you don't have phones. I don't have a phone no. that wants to run Diablo ever. Yeah. No, <laughs> never. So, Anyways. so the, the, these community managers are are just going after people, and it just continues to happen. And we'll just have to see. Eventually, Blizzard's going to get to the point where, like, look, the PRP PR people are going to go like rein in these community managers because they're making us all look like giant pieces of shit, even more than they really are. So, I imagine that Blizzard's going to have to do something. Activision's going to have to do something. Rein in these community managers and say, look, no they more vendors. They probably already have. They, they have to. They, yeah, yeah, they they absolutely have to. So. Uh, that was the Activision Blizzard news that we've got for this week. Um, now, for something more lighthearted and <laughs> hilarious, I could not believe what was happening. Uh, there is a gentleman in California who has decided to sue Twitch for $25 million. Damn! Uh, t- for exposing him to overly suggestive and sexual content from various female streamers. So he is upset. <laughs> Did he watch our damsels in distress? Yeah, all, it's definitely. We were probably <laughs> he probably forgot to list list us on there. Uh, so based on the court documents, uh, the plaintiff uh, who has previously sued Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and Blizzard submitted the formal complaint in, in court on June fifteenth, seeking a lawsuit. Uh, this is this is the silliest thing. Apparently, he's been so he's been showed so many of these streams that are very suggestive and very sexy. Because some of the streams are, you know, they they put pasties on and they paint themselves, and mm-hmm. he's just like, it's your fault that I couldn't search by male only or search by gender, and it's your fault that I'm addicted to all these things, and it's your fault <laughs> I that can't I stop can't stop giving them money yeah, and can't stop masturbating. Oh and so he's suing them for twenty <laughs> million dollars. <laughs> now what? <laughs> This poor but, man and all this damage. But I see what he's doing. Yes. He's <laughs> trying to get attention to that. Or s- settlement for things. Now, what makes this interesting and kind of telling why he's doing it, he's also previously sued Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and Blizzard. Probably oh God. is one of the like people a- that just sues people and just says, look, I'll go away for $25,000, yeah. $50,000, mm-hmm. $100,000. Now, what is crazy, this sounds completely crazy and made up and... <laughs> Silly. What it is doing, though, is bringing more attention. attention to the fact. And so they do bring up the fact that Twitch does seem to play favorites with certain streamers they that, do. that break the rules. And with something That's we've reported on, yeah. we've done it over and we've talked about it over and over here, mm-hmm. where certain streamers get away with things that you would never be able to get rid of because they're very popular yep. with this. This what he's saying is like this is a it's a horrible environment for young men to yeah. walk into yeah. and you're forcing them to take all of this, this <laughs> yeah. stuff. It's like, look, this is not the case. So uh, it's silly and ridiculous, but I thought it was fun it's to bring crazy up. crazy enough to work, It's Alex. just crazy enough to work. Um, we got what I thought was going to be some good news. Uh, Rocksteady, uh, f- we got a little bit of a leaked uh, domain. Uh, n- no, 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 we're never getting Superman. <laughs> that shit ain't ever happening. Oh, that's... Joe, why are you <laughs> going to break God, <laughs> Joe, I see what you're doing. I see what he's doing. I'll bring it Joe, in. nobody All is right. going to make the Superman game. It has to be WB, and the WB is getting sold, and then maybe the new owners well, will may- do it with things. Maybe the new owners will get the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We need a new Henry Cavill Superman. If we can get one of those, 
Maybe we can get a game. But if we do get it, then it's going to be bad. Just leave me alone. Why you got to bring it up? Okay. No. So, so it kind of it kind of fits because so there's a bunch of things that are being registered. There's a bunch of like URLs blah, blah, being registered. Blah, 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 blah. One of them was Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Interesting. Superman could be in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if yeah, you just yeah, yeah. die to the ju- Suicide yeah. Squad, that would make you happy, right? Suicide Squad, everyone's favorite. Does it come in and they're just like... They just like they beat up uh, Superman with like a golf club or something, and then the the game ends <laughs> or something. Five minutes in, that'd make make it. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to hold me back, Joe. I was holding the table. You was holding, yeah. You're, you're, you're breaking. You're breaking the studio. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, don't you speak that. But it's a Suicide world. Squad game. Don't you speak. Aren't that you guys thrilled? Because wasn't all of the Suicide Squad stuff really good? No, it was uh, amazing. The animated, yeah. Well, no, no, it wasn't. So that's what's been uh, leaked is apparently we're getting a Suicide Squad game. It's from Rocksteady. They have made some good stuff before. Uh, who knows what they're going to continue to make. Uh. Um, and that's that's it from them. We were hoping to get a little bit more information from them, but we just don't have it yet. I can't wait to see if it is uh, Suicide Squad <laughs> kill no. Superman. Uh, no. Who, who leads the game. Justice League? Who's in charge? Superman. And if you're killing the Justice League, you got to kill Superman. So... I want Boomerang to like oh, kill him with like a kryptonite boomerang I'm, in the lamest I'm way not, possible. The Suicide Squad would be vaporized in one <laughs> eye laser. We're done. Anyways. <laughs> All right, next one. Next story, next. All right, the next reveal we've got was also really it made everyone really, really happy. Uh we got a Pokemon announcement this week, and it turns out that uh, we're getting a Pokemon MOBA. So think, you know, uh, Dota and League of Legends. And hey, I'm down for that. I think that's a great idea. Sounds cool. On computer, right? Not yeah. on mobile shit, right? I don't know. Well, um, the, it's the <laughs> most disliked video Nintendo has ever put up. It what? accrued over 170,000 dislikes in 24 hours. I thought, uh, I thought people like League of Legends. Well, they I guess they're like, fuck this. This is just But Pokemon a copy players paste. wanted Pokemon games and Pokemon right, right, content. Yeah, they yeah. didn't want a goddamn MOBA. Well, they, 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 they get Pokemon games all the right. time, and we will get Pokemon games. Yes. I don't know. I didn't research this particular news story because uh, I'm it's like. something new. No, I'm going to look this shit up. Is it. What, why was it downvoted so heavily? Well, many Alex? were. So, the, according to the article, many were expecting something more conventional from pre- the, the presentation, which was announced last week. I've been so, on, heads down on on the review for The Last of mm-hmm. Us and people are hating. They they downvoted the shit out of it. Yeah, and so you get to play... Uh, so it's, it will be on Nintendo Switch and mobile devices and will feature cross-play. It's being billed as a free-to-start game. Uh, so well, it's a mobile game that can hmm, be played on the Switch and it's free to so start. And League you can, of Legends, though. Yeah, but it, this one is also... Being able to play on your phone, so yeah, it's yeah, like it's, yeah. A, it's a really a mobile yeah. game that's ported over to the Switch. And, and you know what? It is gonna probably be going to be dumbed down like to an incredibly simple amount. Maybe. Are you maybe. saying Pokemon players need their stuff dumbed God down? God damn it! They he do. did it. They do. He did it. I didn't know how he would do it, but he did it. I didn't uh, say that. I didn't say that. No, you didn't say that. We're not implying. <laughs> but what that I did say is it probably will be dumbed down, yes. and it probably will be microtransaction filled. Yeah. It's just will the game be worth it? For example, League of Legends, in my opinion, is worth it. In this particular case, I don't know. We haven't played the game, but uh-huh. I could see how people would be worried about it. It's like it was it made by Game Freak or is it completely Tencent. different company? Oh, oh, fun! And so they previously yeah. worked on, of course, they own right c- entirely. They, they make, also they did. They can make good games. They do I Call of Duty Mobile owned by a, by you know Chinese companies, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be a good game. Yes. So you know I'm going to be hating on that particular part of it. Now are they going to put the anti cheat on there? Or they think them little nine year olds are going to be cheating and nine year olds and thirty plus year olds because <laughs> I might play it. I want that Pikachu uh, DPS. You have to pay for it. Pikachu was announced. So you get Snorlax, Haunter, Pikachu, and Squirtle. And Jiggly. Confirmed. I want I want to play that Jiggly. Oh, yeah. And Hitmonchan. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. And Scyther. Yeah, that, that's going to cost you. That's what I'm thinking. Remember we talked about it. This is the same company that designed right, Call well, of Duty Mobile. Everybody's hating on it. I want to see it first. Yeah. Then I can determine whether it's hateable. Yeah. All right. Well, the, the the last big one is a little bit of... Did they have a trailer for it? Yeah, it was, there was, okay, there was so information. Okay, so you're putting that up here, mm-hmm. Joe? Shit, man. All right. 
Um, we want to talk about Dr. Disrespect, who just got kind of... I know. I can't stop. Like, I was like, I'm editing and I'm doing my thing. I'm like, what, like, what is going fresh. on? Why? Why? Yeah. I want to know but, why. But why? <laughs> but why? Well, apparently... But why? Even, he I'm not even why. a Dr. Disrespect fan. And all over trying to search for why on the side, and you got you know, a bunch of people supporting him, even though they have no idea have no, what yeah. he's done. You might not want to do that if it's really bad. Or it could be, there's theories that it could have nothing there's a to lot do. Business with that. Stuff, there's yeah. like business mm-hmm. stuff like maybe he's trying to start his own streaming service or uh, something no idea what's going on but i know i've had more dr disrespect uh, on my feed than i ever had before so i don't know if he's trying to play this off as a marketing thing but now i i've seen his gillette song which is fucking awesome actually whoever remixed that they're really good at remixing remix some of our stuff <laughs> for our I don't know. <laughs> well if you're not sure what we're talking about just yet uh he was streaming one of the most popular streamers on twitch Yep. Huge, huge following. Uh, signed an exclusive deal with them, worth millions and millions of dollars. Not, yes. not too long ago, less than a year ago. Yeah, and uh, yeah, was March. To- mm-hmm. And then March. was was told that multi-million uh, dollar deal per month. Per- permanently banned with no explanation whatsoever. Doc was silent for almost a day. His subs were refunded. Yeah, and, like everything is gone. And so Discord gone. Then or banned from Discord. Mm-hmm. And then he posted. He's like, I don't know why either. No one has sent me an official anything. That's the first thing that he posted. He said that I don't know. They, w- I was not told why I was banned either. So mm, that's a little suspect, Doc. Because oh no, well, well I, only reason why is because there's footage of him. You could kind of see like on his last stream. He's like, oh shit, you know, oh, we'll, we'll we'll make it through this together, guys. Blah blah. Yeah. And he's like. Oh, fuck and then he ends the stream so it looks like something visually shook him yeah but i guess technically he's right because the specific reason why his ban has not come out yes um it's scary man it's scary that twitch can just you know y- you don't even know what you did wrong and twitch can just ban your entire channel without telling you what you did wrong mm-hmm and you're making them millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if contract. not millions of dollars. Yeah, I mean, if they're giving you millions, which they then, were, then he has to be making them a lot more than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. So millions of dollars, mm-hmm. then this shit must be serious. Man. It's got to be a business. Like criminal or, or, or the business, like know. you were saying. Because there's, and no you idea. know, one thing we'll talk about in the, in the next video is there's a lot of people going after Twitch right now because it is a juicy business to get into because of the m- hundreds of millions of dollars that Twitch makes. And so there are a lot of rumors. I don't want to get too big into any of them. I'm sure nope. eventually maybe we'll get the, the reason why. I was hoping it, some on Monday yeah. that it would be announced. I thought maybe it, I thought maybe it was the streaming thing. Mm-hmm. But they said oh, announcement on Monday, and there's no announcement. Yeah. As of the time of recording this, no, nothing no, yet. No, no nothing answer yet. just yet. So. All right. Well, that's all we got for this video. Make sure that you check out the second video and make sure that you check out Manscaped. Remember, yeah, uh, check out the new weed whack. Uh, quarantine <laughs> is over in a lot of places. Be safe. But the uh, quarantine down there, you know, with that being released, you know, trim, trim it up. Make sure it's a welcoming environment <laughs> for everyone involved. <laughs> um, you know, true. no one wants. It's just, true. Come on. It's just man- honestly is more for yourself. Like You feel good. Like I've you you know I use it I use the ball toner I use the ball deodorant it smells great I feel fucking good and I just go so about fresh, my day so work clean. has nothing to do with anybody <laughs> but me I feel great it's good fresh and clean fresh and clean all right make sure you check out that other video and we will see you next time on the Angry Joe Show bye, bye guys. guys.